The recent Invictus Games service of Thanksgiving in the UK has ignited a firestorm of media attention, not for the celebratory spirit of the event honoring wounded veterans, but for the seating arrangement of Prince Harry. The headlines scream of a, shameful, situation, with Harry being, forced, to a, backseat, position. But is this truly a case of royal family malice, or something more nuanced? Let's dissect the situation, Prince Harry, the founder of the Invictus Games, was undeniably a central figure in the event. However, he and his wife, Meghan Markle, have stepped back from senior royal duties, creating a complex dynamic within the family. This raises a crucial question, should Harry, despite his self-imposed separation, retain the same level of prominence in official events? Here's where the narrative gets murky. Reports suggest Harry desired a front-row seat, potentially alongside senior royals like his brother Prince William and father Prince Charles. This, according to some, was a breach of protocol, and a subtle attempt to reclaim his former royal stature. Royal supporters argue that seating arrangements are meticulously planned, adhering to a strict hierarchy. Harry's supposed request, they claim, disrupted this order and disrespected tradition. However, another perspective emerges when considering Meghan Markle's influence. On social media, a community known for its critical views of the Duchess, some speculate that the seating drama is a result of her manipulation. The theory suggests Meghan, known for her desire for privacy and independence, might have pushed Harry to assert his importance, leading to the reported request for a prominent seat. This narrative, of course, is purely speculative and lacks concrete evidence. However, it highlights the ongoing public fascination with the Sussex's relationship with the royal family, particularly Meghan's role. It's important to remember that such online communities often foster negativity and unsubstantiated claims. Shifting focus back to Harry, it's plausible that his desire for a specific seat stemmed from a genuine wish to be recognized for his role in creating the Invictus Games. After all, the event is deeply personal for him, a testament to his dedication to veteran well-being. Perhaps, in his mind, a prominent position wasn't a demand for royal status, but a way to honor the veterans in his own contribution. Ultimately, the truth behind the seating controversy remains unclear. Was it a genuine desire by Harry to be recognized for his creation, or a misguided attempt to reclaim his royal standing, potentially influenced by Meghan. Perhaps it was a combination of both. What's undeniable is the media frenzy surrounding the seating arrangement overshadows the true purpose of the event, celebrating the resilience and strength of wounded veterans. The Invictus Games are a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. This focus on a supposed snub detracts from the incredible stories of the participating veterans. The public's fascination with the royal family's personal lives is a double-edged sword. While it fuels media interest and public engagement, it can also overshadow the true significance of events like the Invictus Games. It's crucial to remember, amidst the drama and speculation, that the veterans themselves are the heart of the story. Their triumphs and struggles deserve to be the center of attention, not the seating arrangements of royals.